Good morning, radio buddies. Uh, we've had some fun this morning, but I got to be honest, my heart is is heavy, and it's been heavy for a very long time. Um, you know, I host a radio show. I'm expected to talk about all sorts of things, but it seems I have to avoid talking about all the things that really matter, and it's especially hard with the thing that's happening in Ottawa. It's like, uh, am I supposed to talk about it? Am I allowed to talk about it? Can I say something without getting in trouble? And, and so I end up just coming in here. I walk into the studio, put on my headphones, and I think, okay, here I am. What silly, stupid thing that doesn't really matter can I talk about today? <laughs> uh, it just and it, it weighs heavy on me, not to share my honest feelings and commentary about what's happening around us. And, and you know, I used to kind of mention little things here and there, political things about what's happening in the pandemic, and I would do that. It ended up just wearing down the relationship I had with my bosses, to be honest. And, you know, one morning, like six months ago, I shared my my uh, opposition to the passports. And it was never really the same again after that. Things really changed. I, I paid a very heavy uh, price for saying that. And I uh, begged for forgiveness to the people that uh, that needed me to say that. I promised I wouldn't say anything else controversial or post anything about it on Instagram and, and you know, my, my opposition to mandates and passports, those things would just stay locked in my head. And, you know, because I wanted to protect myself, protect my co-host, protect our families from unemployment. But honestly, I just feel like a piece of me died. I, I feel like I became like a, a sellout or something. I don't know what the right word is, but uh, I just feel so many things I want to say. And, uh, you know, but there's there's a price to pay when you do. If you're not going along with what everyone else is saying, you know, this radio show sucks without another point of view. The whole media landscape sucks without another point of view. It's just like the last six months have felt like the the, the crazy person in media, you know, no one is, I mean, is no one else going to speak up and say that this is kind of crazy? You know, I just feel like I'm trying to stay on my best behavior so that I can be liked again, so that I can keep my job. Instead of doing what we are all supposed to be doing, which is having passionate discussions about the insanity that's happening around us. It's insane. It's like we've been set up to bicker with each other over issues that, although are powerful and valid, they're, they're meant to distract us from going down that rabbit hole that's, that'll wake us up to the manipulation that's taking place. You know, like, if you think the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa is a racist movement, you have been tricked. You've been fooled. You know, what we need to realize is that it takes real eyes to recognize real lies. I'll say that again. We need to realize it takes real eyes to recognize real lies. This isn't about race or health or Nazi flags or masks. It's about trying to keep our children off a digital ID that will control every aspect of their lives. That can be switched off at any time. But that's the crazy me coming out. So <laughs> it won't. Uh, I won't go there. You know, my God, if you only knew, you'd be so mad. But, you know, I'll be the one that gets mocked for doing my own research. <laughs> uh, and this, this last, like, week or two, I mean, the, the final thing I want to say is, why, why is the news not telling us the truth? We see truckers setting up bouncy castles for kids, feeding the homeless, dancing, being so damn Canadian, but the news is calling it violent. I, I don't understand it, you know? I, I mean... The media took six hundred million from the Liberals pre-election. I mean, even Daily Hive took half a million, I think. You know, so maybe that has something to do with it. And there's nothing wrong with taking the money, but let, let's just be honest about how the game is played. You know, it's not fair to you. It's not fair to all of us that, like, like how are we supposed to know what's happening in the world for real if the news isn't telling us? You know, I saw this uh, Sikh man being interviewed in Ottawa, and, and he was feeding the homeless, he was feeding the truckers, and just a very lovely man. And then the news interviews him, and. Uh, and, you know, people were capturing this whole thing on their phones as they just stood around. So they took this five-second clip of this man saying, I'm terrified, and they put that on the news. But I think what he, he was really saying something like, you know, I'm terrified of running out of food <laughs> for these people. But but they twisted it, make it seem like he was, you know, terrified to be there in Ottawa. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what is happening? What is happening? So, you know, the choice is yours. You can learn about it. Or you can ignore it and focus on your own happiness. And, you know, that's totally okay because, you know, we all got to take care of our own mental health. But, but please don't get sucked into the bickering that holds you and others down, spreads negativity, works to make things worse. I don't know. It's frustrating, man.
But I, I will come in here. I'll be silly. I'll give away cash. I'll talk about stupid stuff like, hey, do you like curly fries or thick cuts? Call now. <laughs> I will keep doing that. But, uh, you know, to be totally honest, I have a contract that's coming to a close. And, and radio doesn't have a history of letting you say goodbye on your last day. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying goodbye, but, you know, in the event that I ever become, you know, not enough or I ever become too much, um, I just want to tell you how great it's been to, to be here on Z95.3 and have these conversations with you the odd time on the air. And, and I hope that we can continue that uh, somewhere else um, at some point. Or, or if, uh, you know, subscribe to my new podcast for a few bucks a month. I've got kids to feed, um, a wife who likes to buy organic food, um, and it would be nice to have my tribe um, be with me and help me. So, But I'm still here. I'm on the radio, and um, I just needed to get that off my chest. I love you guys. Um, love over fear. The Kid Carson Show.